Hello everyone, you are welcome to the fifth episode of the course, Quick Civil Series for Beginners. In this episode, I will be showing you how you can change the panel type and how you can change the edge condition of your panels. It is very essential after modeling, you need to specify the type of panels you have, whether it is an interior panel or it is one long edge continuous one long edge discontinuous, adjacent edges continuous. So you have to set all of this. So um, that is what I will be showing you in this episode. So um, first of all, one thing I can show you is, um, I will go to floor two, let's say, for example, click on floor two, okay. So if you wish to, you know, like add your columns, okay. So if you want to add your columns, so you can always work here so this is column right so when you check this box okay so it is going to add the columns you can see it has uh, you know it is the column so if you do not want to see your beam span okay so your beam itself you don't want to see it um your ruler you don't want to see your ruler well that's not living so your grid line you know the grid line here if you do not want to see it you can see it will leave you don't want to see the panel which is the slab so you know everything will leave you know so stuff like that so just if at times you may want to hide something, maybe you want to select and then you're having difficulty in selection. So you can always, um, you know, um, do all that. Also, maybe you want to hide this property, all these objects property. So you can just hide it. So it will leave. So, um, you know, stuff like that. At times you might want to float it. Okay. So something like this. So auto rearrange, put this on so that I can automatically rearrange all this, you know, keep objects selected. So, you know. So do all those things, you can, you know, it will make your work easier and faster. So right now, let's go back to modeling. You need to, you know, you need to select the edge condition of your panel. Let's say, for example, panel two, right? So if you look at panel two, what is the height of panel two? Let me click on this. The height of panel two is 4,125, all right? And then what about the um the width? The width is four thousand nine hundred nineteen. Okay, which means the width is longer than the uh the height. So this is the longer part from here to here. That's the longer part. All right, that's the longer part. So right now I want to change the edge condition. So basically, you see that when you look at this panel, it is continuous to the left because at the left we have panel one. It is also continuous to the right because at the right we have panel three. Also, this long edge is also continuous to the bottom because we have panel 7 here. But the top here is not continuous because there is no panel at the top. So this particular panel is one long edge distance discontinuous, okay? Because this long edge distance, sorry, this long edge is um discontinuous. So you can just come here and check your... You can also check, uh, what is it called? The panel type okay so if it's a twist slab or if it is a cantilever it is a roof panel is you understand staircase void so let's say there's a staircase void here for example the, you are expecting to have a staircase over here so you can just click on staircase void then you see it will you know it will go and like that so if you wish to keep I just select it and then you can change it back to um two way or one way slab okay so automatically it will identify if it is two way or one way okay so i want to change the edge condition let me go back okay so you'll find the edge condition under the geometry okay so that you see panel edge condition so here we have interior panel obviously this is not an interior panel okay so you change this to um one long edge discontinuous just as i've said okay so you are going to do all of this for you know all of the slabs all of the panels you have over here okay so this the same thing for this i think this is a short edge okay this, I believe this side is longer. Okay, so this is the short edge. So this should be one short edge discontinuous, right? So um, let's go to the geometry. Okay, so you can see by default it should put its interior panel. So this should be one short edge discontinuous. So just do all of that. Um, here I need no column because it's supposed to be a cantilever. Okay, let me zoom into the top properly. So select this column delete it okay yes select this column okay um delete it so um here you can select this panel and then you 
call is you can't leave her you know go to panel type yeah panel type okay so you call this a cantilever slab panel okay so you have that and then when you select it one more time you can change it to you know it is a cantilever so at the same time it is one long edge continuous three edges discontinuous okay three edges discontinuous and you have one long edge continuous so this is exactly what we have so you can just see that all right so uh, this is one long edge is um, continuous so um you can change that so i think that is fine all right so um thank you for watching